on the second page of our circle review, we are going to continue talking about arcs and arc lengths. And the next section would be chords and arcs. And at the bottom of the page, we're going to discuss some inscribed angles. So let's look at question number seven. It's asking us to solve for x. What I notice here is that from v all the way around to s, we have a semicircle. Now a semicircle, you remember, is 180 degrees. So if I say 45 plus 6x plus 33 equals 180, then I combine my like terms, 45 and 33 is giving me 78 plus 6x equals 180. I take away 78 from both sides. 6x equals 102. If I do 102 divided by 6, that equals 17. It says solve for x. I have x. Problem solved. The next one wants us to solve the measure of EF. So not only do we have to solve for x, we're going to have to plug it back in and figure out this missing EF here, which they don't have anything labeled. But we'll figure that out. So what we do know is that these two arcs right here, GF and DE, are equal to each other. They're congruent. So I can say 13x plus 3 equals 15x minus 7. If I add 7 to both sides, 13x plus 10 equals 15x. Take away 13x from both sides. 10 equals 2x. Then I have to divide it by 2. x equals 5. What I need to do next is plug it into one of these uh, one of these equations right here to see what one of the arcs is. I'm going to choose to do this one, 13x plus 3. So 13 times 5 plus 3. That's going to be 68. Now if I know this arc is 68, what I do know is that from g to e, again I have a semicircle, so in order to figure out what e to f is, I know that's 180, take away 68. So EF is 112 degrees. And the next question is they're going to ask us for arc lengths. We have to remember that the formula for our arc length is x, which is our number of degrees times 2 pi r, which is our circumference, divided by 360. So they're first looking for y to w. Now what I do notice is this is 26, but I don't have that. However, I do know that's a right angle, which means this is 90, which means y to w is 26 plus 90. All right, that gives us 116. So the length is 116 times 2 times pi times my radius, it tells us over here the radius is 15, and we're going to divide that all by 360. So let's go ahead and type that in the calculator. i got to start over again. 116 times 2 times pi times 15, and I'm going to take that and divide it by 360. I get approximately 30.35, and that's in centimeters. The next one they want us to find is uh, arc UXV. So if I go from U uh, through X all the way to V, I need to figure out, I'm basically saying it's the whole circle, take away this part right here. And I do know that this part is 26 because they're congruent to each other. So this is really 360, take away 26. That's going to give me 334. Moving back to my equation, I have arc length is 334, my number of degrees, times 2, times pi, times my radius, 15. That's my circumference again. And I'm going to divide that all by 360 one more time. So let's plug that in the calculator. 334 times 2 times pi times 15 and I'm going to divide that all by 360 
is approximately 87.4, and that's again in centimeters. Next question. Uh, they're telling us a DC, this arc is 12x plus 7, CB is this arc is 18x minus 23. What I do know is that since these are congruent, that means the chords are congruent, which also means the arcs are congruent, so I'm going to set these equal to each other. I'm going to add 23 to both sides. 12x plus 30 equals 18x. If I take away 12x from both sides, I have 30 equals 6x divided by 6. I get x equals 5. Now we're not finished because they want us to find arc DAB here. Now I do know that this is the missing piece. If I know what these two pieces are, I know that these two plus this one makes 360. So if I go ahead and plug my 5 in here, 12 times 5 plus 7, that's going to be 67, which also makes this 67 because they're congruent. I know that these two plus that one again equals 360, it's the whole circle. So if I take 67 plus 67, that's 134, and I take that away from 360, that's going to give me my missing piece. That was 226. Uh, Next question, they're telling us GP is congruent to PH. They're telling us GA is 17. They're telling us arc ED is 37. They're telling us arc AB is 87. So what they want us to find is segment DB, which is the entire chord right here. If I know this is 17, this is also 17, along with HB and DH. I know that 17 and this 17, well, add them together, that's 34. If I'm looking for EG, again, that's the same thing as GA, that's 17. Now I'm looking for some arc lengths here. Um, DB is this entire arc over here, which is not given to us. However, I do know that this guy and this arc are congruent. I do have 37 and 87, so let's add those together first. So that's 124. So again, I have these two, which is 124, plus these other two equal an entire circle, which is 360. So let's take that away. Two hundred and thirty-six. However, you gotta keep in mind we have two arcs here that equal two thirty-six, so I have to cut that number in half. It's gonna be one hundred eighteen. So that means that each of these arcs DB and EA are one hundred eighteen. So if we're looking for FA, and the entire thing is one eighteen, we find FA by cutting that in half. 59 and uh, DC is also going to be 59 again these guys are in degrees right here all right we're looking at inscribed angles what we need to keep in mind is that the inscribed angle is half of the arc or you can say the arc is double the inscribed angle so let's we'll work with what we know here we're looking for ML it's this arc right here and if I know that this inscribed angle is 59, that makes the intercepted arc ML, I do 59 times 2, it's going to be 118 degrees. Measure of JLK, JLK is right here, that's the inscribed angle that has the intercepted arc of 134. If I'm giving given the arc, I cut it in half. To get my angle, 67 degrees. Now if I want JLM, JLM right here, well, let's figure that out. We did say before that this is 118, and I need this J, I need this angle right in here, 
which makes this intercepted arc right here. I need to know this intercepted arc to get this angle. So what I do know is that these three arcs make 360, so I'm going to add them. And then if I take it away from 360, it's going to be 108. 